Well, hey folks, my name is Josh Johnson, just here to give you an update on Fort Peck Lake. The uh, spring's been awfully cold, uh, weather's been pretty unstable, and with that comes some difficult fishing at times, but there's some really good fish to be caught out there for sure. Uh, if you're looking for numbers of walleye and uh, good size walleye, um, and just general good fish activity, uh, you're definitely going to want to go way upriver. Um, you're going to notice on re big reservoir systems, there's going to be dramatic differences in water temperature, water color from one area of area of the lake to the next. If you go way up lake, like kind of to the Bone Trail, Timber Creek narrow section of the lake, you're going to definitely start noticing a big jump in water temps as well as some off color water. With that, there's a lot of fish activity, especially with walleye. Um, a good way to get, you know, overall numbers of walleye out deeper, they've been kind of finicky, but, you know, especially kind of that, you know, 12 to 20 foot range jigging with like quarter to three, it sounds jigs with uh, like this is a jig with an underspin with a three inch gulp minnow or a small hair jig with a three inch gulp minnow has been productive for good eater sized walleye. In addition to that, uh, casting swim baits in those same depth ranges has been very productive for walleye as well. Um, when it comes to bigger fish, bigger walleye, and then also big pike, smallmouth, um, casting shallow has been pretty key. Um, there's been a lot of wood cover from the bank out to about 10 foot of water if you go way down the dry arm or way down the main arm of the lake. Um, from the bank out to about 10 foot there's a lot of that brush and there's a section about two to you know two to four foot over top of that brush where you can work a bait and there's been a lot of big fish utilizing that. Most of our big walleye um, have actually come you know during the afternoon or evenings shallow whether it's in that brush or on boulder points etc. That's where casting these you know jig and paddle tail combinations has been really effective and really our best multi-species pattern by far um so yeah no there's some great fishing to be had uh, the hardest part is usually almost getting started uh, if you are looking deeper uh recommendation that i have is to graph out over really deep water look for cisco and so let's just say you're graphing out over 60 foot of water and you notice massive schools of cisco and you see what height they come up to in the water column look for the highest Cisco, Cisco schools in the water column. Let's say they're 14 foot down over 60 foot of water. Well, you might want to start by looking 14 foot on top of points. So anyways, with that, hope you have a good time out there and I'll catch you later.